Hello guys, welcome back. So we are gonna do control balancing today. If in the last video, remember we had done flight controls, so we'll be doing control balancing. Okay. So before we start control balancing, we'll just do a quick what is hinge moment. Okay. So suppose we have a surface like this which is basically hinged here okay and the force is acting up or down depends on this on this point and the distance between the hinge and the point of acting force is f then the hinge moment is given by f into d okay so that is basically hinge moment now in order to apply to move the control surface pilot has to apply a force on the control column all right so this force is called the stick force in order to move control surface force is applied by the pilot and that is called stick forces all right so now the stick forces are generally the force that are applied by the pilot to move the specific control surface it could be aileron elevator or the rudder okay so now we have to know control balancing so uh, by the way for the stick forces are high for high speed and large aircraft so it's virtually important that we understand that uh, we don't want large very large stick forces since it will be difficult to control an aeroplane so for that we have aerodynamic balancing that will help reduce the hinge moment if we are able to now what is happening is the whole concept of control balancing is to reduce the hinge moment all right so obviously we cannot reduce the force so we have to narrow down this distance as much as possible to the force okay so aerodynamic balancing now there are two ways of doing this it is aerodynamic balancing and maybe hydraulic or powered flying controls can be used so first we'll discuss aerodynamic balancing okay so this the concept is the same to reduce the hinge moment so there are four three ways that can it uh, it can be done inset hinge horn balance internal balance and the other rest is the tabs we'll discuss that in a while okay so we'll start with inset hinge inset hinge is is just the distance d is reduced and hence it will give a smaller hinge moment okay so the example is just the similar diagram so here we have a control column like the control surface and the force so instead of placing the d here the hinge we'll move the d here okay so this d is reduced okay so this will give the smaller hinge moment so it's called inset hinge okay next is your horn balance now horn balance is a common thing for uh, 152 172 flyers i'm sure must have seen it so it is something like this suppose this is your control this is your the aircraft body and this is your hinge where it is and this is your elevator right you must have seen this this is the elevator on the left and the right uh, elevators on the 152 172 common aircraft elevator this is your horn balance what does what does this do is it is placing the mass a, a mass forward of the hinge line okay so which is acting in the opposite direction of the control surface so suppose if the elevator is going down the this mass will come up 
so it is giving a opposite hinge moment and hence it is reducing the stick forces okay and the next is your internal balance internal balance now internal balance is when your it is the principle is same as the hinge set hinge but what happens is the aerodynamic balancing area is largely placed inside the wing okay so suppose we have something like this and uh, we have this as a control surface so what is happening suppose example if the control surface is moves down there is a high pressure area generated below the surface low pressure area generated above the surface so this is giving though the surface is moved down this is giving a high pressure to low pressure it's giving an opposite moment right so this is again obviously reducing your overall hinge moment is reduced now we'll discuss tabs balance tab now the bal the that the aerodynamic balance we have discussed the three right inset hinge internal balance and horn balance they work on the dynamic pressure of the control surface and basically they, they, they are placed forward of the hinge line all right so now the the balance tab is now something like this this is the control surface and this is your tab so what is happening in this is it, the balance tab moves into the opposite direction so the control uh, control surface has moved up the balance tab will move down okay so the balance tab provides a force acting on the control surface trailing edge opposite to the force on the main control surface suppose this is giving is this risen up this will go down okay and the pilot in this case moves the surface not the tab and the, then the surface will move the tab okay and in this there's a decrease in control effectiveness I'll just give you a, a nice table at the end so that that will summarize all the tabs and it will be easy to remember. Anti balance tab. Now, in the anti balance tab, what we have is like suppose this is the control column, okay, and this also moves in the same direction and okay in this case also the pilot moves the surface only the surface moves the tab but what is happening is that the surface is moved up moved up if the surface is moved up the tab also moves up it's just anti balance opposite of balance now the anti balance tab moves in the same direction as the control surface it increases control effectiveness but will increase the hinge moment heavier stick forces why will it increase the hinge moment because if this is providing a hinge moment that is more this is also aggravating that hinge moment and heavier stick forces now this you might wonder why why is this used now this is used to provide the Q feel to increase the control effectiveness basically all right now we'll discuss servo tabs servo tabs now servo tabs are drawn basically like this alright okay so servo tab the pilot will con pilot input will move only the servo tab and the aerodyna aerodynamic surface acting on this tab will move the control surface until an equilibrium position is reached so suppose this if the pilot is moving the servo tab down okay and then this servo tab will move in opposite direction now the control surface will move in opposite direction till the force is equal equalized the classic example is the Boeing 707 that was uh, using the servo tabs all right so few points on this are least effective at low 
speeds okay directly controlled by the pilot as I mentioned tab moves opposite to the surface direction all right now that there's a disadvantage to this what happens is if even if the control locks are fit what are control locks basically they are uh, locking the controls of the control surface of the aircraft now even if the control surfaces are installed and the control column is moved left or right since this is connected to the tab it will show that the controls are free so this can create a problem when if a proper uh, pre-flight isn't done so the point here is if external control locks are fitted the control column will be still free will be still free to move giving an idea that the controls are free to move and which is a dangerous situation and now what happens also is at low IS as I mentioned already here at low IS the it's least effective so small aerodynamic force from the servo tabs reduces the surf, service uh, surface movement so what is happening is if at low IS there's a small aerodynamic force acting from the servo tab this will reduce the surface movement uh, movement and then you will not get the required you will need to increase your effective uh, movement of the control to move the plane all right the last one is the spring tab now this is just a modification of the servo tabs all right so what happening what is happening here is it is just as similar to the and this is connected like this and here what we have installed is a spring okay that's the reason it's called the spring tab it's a modification of the servo tab such that the tab movement is proportional to the stick applied force okay the movement of the surface is equal to the stick up stick force okay now this at uh, this is advantages at high speed effective at high speeds now high dynamic pressure will prevent the surface from moving so the spring the spring is compressed by the pilot input and the tab then moves the surface okay the spring is also it's important to note that spring does not get compressed at the low is so the pilot input deflects the control surface and the tab increasing the surface area and control effectiveness at even at low speed ness at low speeds as well all right okay so the next thing we're going to do is trim tabs it's the basic form of tab trim tab trim tab now they are operated with the help of trim wheel okay some are generally fixed some are controllable controlled in the air okay so this uh, the, on the 172152 we have the elevator trim tab and uh, rudder trim is uh, basically fixed for a certain uh, left or right moment depends on the aircraft uh, propeller and but there are disadvantages to it now it will reduce control range so it is very important that when we come into land the trim is set to a, a position where we have control effectiveness all right and that's the reason we also at takeoff we set the trim wheel to zero position okay it increases drag reduces control effectiveness now trim tabs you might wonder then what's the advantage of it now trim tabs is just 
the maximum uh, reason I mean the probable reason for using a trim tab is to in flight when you're doing a long flight choose just to relieve the pressure of the control column so that the pilot is comfortable but otherwise these are all the disadvantages it carries with it okay now other form of balancing is mass balancing okay now what is mass balancing the concept is the same of to reduce the hinge moment now what they do is adding weight to the control surface forward of the hinge hinge line the concept is same this is to avoid flutter okay flutter it reduces or avoids flutter now examples are you can just see something like this this is your control surface the hinge line is here you add a weight here or another example that may you may just come across somewhere is something like this the, sub, the hinge line is here you add weight here okay so this is your mass balancing now there is also something called the concept called aileron snatching occurs at m crit or at near stall now this happens because of rapid shift of cp rapid shift of cp takes place all right so because suppose you have at a high angle of attack your cp is you know is just moving like this and then you suddenly just falls back so this rapid shift of cp disturbs the airflow and this causes a violent jerking of jerking of ailerons this is called your aileron snatching you can avoid this by using um, first ailerons are there and different kinds of ailerons we'll be discussing soon and the table i'll just give it to you so that uh, it's easy for us to recollect the tabs that we have studied and um, here is yeah so tab operated by moment relative to control surface stick forces control effectiveness okay so first we'll do balance tab if you remember it is operated by the control surface and the moment is opposite you can just uh, rewind the rewind this video and just uh, have a look again stick forces are less and control effectiveness is reduced now we have anti balance tab this also moves the control surface but this moves in the same direction if you remember the stick forces are increased the q feel i was talking about and the control effectiveness are also increased servo tab operated by the pilot the tab is moved directly opposite the moment relative less and reduced the spring tab at high speeds moved by the pilot only and opposite at high speeds again and less stick forces even reduced control effectiveness is reduced now trim tabs is a unique one only trim control only it is moved by the trim control wheel control wheel correct and the moment is opposite stick forces are zeroed i told you right it relieves the pressure of the control column and the control effectiveness is reduced all right so that's all for this video control uh, balancing uh, just stay connected like it share it if you like it subscribe i'll see you guys in the next video